Hey everyone, this is Peter with Carries.net, and in this video we are going to be comparing Samsung's smart AMOLED app between the Captivate from AT&T and the HTC Evo from Sprint. Um, in the beginning we're just going to do a quick comparison of the screen colors and what the app looks like on both, and then we'll take the HTC Evo out of the picture and just look at the Captivate and all the features that this app adds to your Android experience. So let's launch both of the apps. As you can see in the beginning, the blacks are that much richer on the Captivate again, thanks to that super AML, AMOLED screen. Some of the places where you can see these differences is in the About AMOLED tab. As you can see with color reproduction on the left, it's much more vibrant. Um, and again, on both screens on the left, TFT is shown, and on the right, a AMOLED is shown. Let's go to Angle. Again, on the left, TFT is shown, and on the right, AMOLED AML 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 is shown. Excuse me. Um, and again, the color reproductions on the Captivate is much higher than on the Evo. The colors are richer. The colors are more vibrant. Um, so that is the difference. Again, between these two screens, we've covered it before, but we just thought we'd cover it since this app is all about the AMOLED screen. So let's take this guy out now and let's go back into the main app. When you first download it, you'll have to download an addition to the app that takes about five to 10 minutes over Wi-Fi, at least it did for us. Um, and then it'll have the entire app and all the wallpapers. When you first start, go into language and select English and then you can jump into all the features that it offers. So for instance, it offers four different types of wallpapers. We have landscape with really vibrant la landscapes at that. Um, if, if you don't download this app for anything else, um, I would recommend just downloading it for the free wallpapers that you get alone in this app. Um, a lot of them are pretty amazing. And as you can see, you will maybe do some close-up views of some of them. Again, just really rich colors, really nice backgrounds, um, and they're all free. So. Also, this smart AMOLED app will work on any Android phone, so even if you don't have one that has that type of screen or even a Samsung device, you can download this phone as you saw on the HTC Evo and take advantage of all these features as well. So let's go into different wallpapers now. So we click on the category in the top right, and we can go to close-ups. Again, this has some more vibrant pictures of uh, different scenes, different environments, some cats here. Let's go back to category again. The AMOLED cartoon pack um, is at first locked and you have to play a game to unlock these screens, so I'll show you that in a second. But again, these are just cartoony Android related screens um, with different kind of situations going on in both, in all of them. And finally, the last category is pattern. Now, if you do have a Super AMOLED screen, um, and you, I'm sure you've read the reports on how much better they do in terms of battery saving than the HTC Evo, I would recommend one of three wallpapers that you're gonna find in this app. There's this middle one that's all black with kind of stars highlighted, a black on black. Um, there's this black on black triangle, and finally, these black and blacks kind of rectangles in a pattern. Those are actually gonna even help to save your battery more if you find yourself looking at widgets on the home screen um, only because the blacks will take up less energy than the other colors. So if you're looking to save even more battery, I would recommend one of those wallpapers. Again, let's go back to the category view and as you can see, it offers even more. Kind of offers one similar to the Nexus S um, it just doesn't offer the X's, it just offers these slashes. So that's the wallpaper part of the application. Now let's go into the smart battery. What's cool about this app is it shows not only your battery percentage, it lets you slide this wheel around to adjust the brightness level of your phone. And as you can see under that application, excuse me, activity section, as you turn the screen down, the activity has more time to use. And as you turn the screen up, the activity goes down in time. So what this does is it essentially predicts how long your phone will last based on the current power and based on what activity you're doing. So let's say you want, you're want you on an airplane and you want to play a movie. You can go to the play a movie section and you can see that once you, if you watch a movie at a brightness of one, you can get in four hours and 15 minutes. And if you watch at full brightness, 
you can only get in three hours, a little bit less than three hours. So that's a cool feature just to kind of plan out your day or if you're in one type of setting and you really need to know how long you're going to last in that setting using it for what you are using it for, this is a good um, predictor of that. Again, it's not exact. These are just estimated times, but it gives you a good idea of and a good sense of how long you'll be able to use your phone for. Finally, we have the AMOLED games. Let's start with the card one. Again, this is a very simple memory game, and this is going to be the one that unlocks those backgrounds. If you really want to get those backgrounds really badly and you're bad at memory games, I would recommend just taking a picture of the screen once it starts because it shows you everything is. So just take a picture with a friend's phone or take a picture with your laptop, and then you're going to know where all these tiles are once you start playing the game. So an easy cheat there. Um, if you go into the shooting Android game, it is going to take another three to five minutes to download it at first. Um, and the buttons are still in Korean, um, but the explanations are in English. So on the left, you have a demo of what you're supposed to do. So essentially, it's like a tanks or a worms game. You choose your angle, you choose your power, and you try and hit the other person with their when there's wind. And then finally, the orange button lets you choose your character, and then you start. So. Again, left green button is a demo of what you're supposed to do, and the right one is to play. So that is that game, and that is actually the app in its entirety. You can find this right now on the Android market if you search for Smart, A-M-O-L-E-D, and you'll find it at the top. Um, it does have Korean in the description, and I'll show you right here a quick demo of that. It's right at the top, so let's search for that. Again, it's the only one. It's produced by Samsung Mobile Display, and it has that ring of color. Like I said, the description's in Korean, but once you start the app, you can just choose English, and everything's downhill from there. If you have any questions or comments, let us know in the, in the comments section of our YouTube video. As always, check out www.carries.net for the full review, and thanks for watching.